All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Welcome to Thinking Biblically. This is the sixth or the fifteenth of June, sixth month, in the year of our Lord, twenty twenty-two, and this is a news update. Yes, the judgment of God continues to fall fast and furious on the West. Uh, news story. I just saw it at RT, otherwise known as Russia Today, which is banned in the West as far as possible. But you can uh, uh, view it on the internet at uh, uh, rt.com. And also on Rumble, uh, you can watch the video stream from RT. I find RT to be more reliable than any Western sources of so-called news. You know, in the West, truth is called disinformation today. The most Orwellian of all things. This just goes way beyond the year 1984. <laughs> wow. Anyway, the sanctions. Uh, let's read Psalms again. Psalms chapter 37, starting at verse 12. The wicked plots against the just and gnashes at him with his teeth. Doesn't this sound like NATO and in Russia right now, the West is just gnashing their teeth at, at President Putin, uh, who is a Christian. That's probably why they hate him. Now, I don't know if he's a born-again, Bible-believing Christian, but I do know he's a practicing Orthodox Christian. And he honors the faith, and he honors Jesus Christ. And he seeks to pass laws that are consistent with that. Thumbs up, Mr. Putin. I'm not quite prepared to call him brother because I really don't know the man personally. But uh, it seems to me that God is using him to turn Russia in the right direction. I think we should pray for a true spiritual revival among Orthodoxy, especially Russian Orthodoxy. Uh, you, the Ukrainian church used to be part of Russian Orthodoxy until a meddling patriarch, the patriarch of the uh, of, of Greece, uh, of no, Constantinople, uh, interfered and split and created a new separate church for the Ukrainians. Uh, <clears throat> and the Russians are, the Russian church is not happy about that at all. It took the, uh, the Russian uh, Orthodox Church was also the, the, uh, the patriarchate of the Ukrainian nation. Uh, until the Greek or the uh, Constantinopolian patriarch, the ecumenical patriarch, apparently under Western pressure, I imagine, decided to meddle in the situation. Of course, uh, in the West, they've tried to sanction the Russian patriarch. Almost did it. So they're not content unless they just try to destroy everything. Anyway, uh, the story at uh, I just found this fascinating. Let's go with this. this the the uh, wicked plot against the just and gnashes at him with his teeth. That's that sounds like NATO and Biden. <laughs> the Lord laughs at him, for he sees that his day is coming. Yeah, I know where this is going to lead. The wicked have drawn the sword. They have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy. Actually, to pillage. Because that's what they did when the Soviet Union collapsed. The West moved in and pillaged. The carpetbaggers moved in and pillaged Russia and Ukraine. 
And you know what kind of outfit they set up in Ukraine? The Biden family outfit. That outfit. That's what they set up in, in Ukraine. Just one family that was enriching themselves through corruption there. Wow. That was something else. And yet Biden's in office. Maybe Ukraine isn't one of the most corrupt countries in the world. Maybe the United States is top of the corruption. I don't know. Just wonder. To cast down the poor and the needy, to slay those who are of upright conduct. They are absolutely incensed because Russia, again, has passed a law banning LGBTQ propaganda. In other words, recruitment so-called education, things like drag, uh, what do they call it? Drag Queen Story Hour at the local public library? Russia's passed laws against that. Good for you, Russia. God blesses those who pursue him, pursue what is right in the sight of God and curses those who pursue wickedness. As we shall see. Their sword shall enter their own heart and their bro bows shall be broken. A little with a righteous man is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. Russia might not be stinking filthy rich, but it is better to turn to the Lord and be with him in poverty than to be stinking filthy rich. Bill Gates, Musk, Zuckerberg, and all the others I would not trade places with them for anything. God gives me an abundance, more than I need. And money is not of great import. God takes care of his people, and he does not need the riches of the world to do it. Anyway, I, th this is, uh, the, the, their sword shall enter their own heart. Harry Carey, you know, <laughs> Oh, my, let me punish the Russians by splitting my guts open and letting them spill out on the ground. That's what the West is doing. Their sanctions, their own sword, that they were so convinced was going to destroy Russia, destroy the ruble. See, the United States is engaged in out-and-out -out warfare. Warfare is not necessarily live gunfire. There's all kinds of war. Economic work here for warfare, blockading a co uh, countries, trying to cut countries off from everything. That is warfare just as much as airplanes and artillery and gunfire is warfare. Just as much. The United States and NATO are in a state of de facto war with Russia and nearing war with China, if they survive Russia, which is doubtful right now. Um, China might not have to worry because the West seems to already have committed the act of Harry Carey and are now watching as their intestines tumble out in the dirt. Ritual suicide. I'm going to punish you. I'm going to kill myself. You know, there's lots of people that actually do that. They think they're going to hurt others by killing themselves. Well, they may do that temporarily, but compared to the hurt they experience and will experience forever, no. Self-murder is murder. Thou shalt not spill the blood of a man. Of course, the punishment for that in the law is, is uh, uh, that their, their blood shall be spilled. So I guess when you spill your own blood, you've inflicted your own punishment on yourself. You've executed your own sentence. Well, I guess that's what the West is doing. So I don't think I can show you uh, the actual web page, or actually it's a video too. 
uh, of RT since that is banned and YouTube just loves to ban videos. Anything they can come up with, the algorithm. So if it's, they saw that, they'd, they'd probably ban it. Uh, the algorithm. The AI. Uh, which is really an artificial stupidity, usually. So I will just have to explain it to you, read it to you. The title is, EU Faces Another Russian Gas Supply Shutoff. You might get the idea that Russia is going to cut the gas. No. Overall flow is via the Nord Stream pipeline. That's like the main pipeline. Will decrease by roughly 60%. Gazprom, that's the Russian gas company, says 60%. It's almost two-thirds. Almost two-thirds of gas flow is getting out. It's going to be cut off. Why? So I was wondering, is Russia finally resorting to retaliation? No. Russia energy major Gazprom said on Wednesday that it would further reduce the capacities of gas supplies via the Nord Stream pipeline to 67 million cubic meters per day. That's quite a big gas. The company explained that it has to halt the operation of one more Siemens... See, that's what, it, what happens when you use foreign-supplied stuff. Siemens, that's a German company, gas pumping units on the pipeline. Why? Due to the expiration of the time before overhaul in accordance with the instructions of the of Rostec Nadzor and taking into account... I, I, I mentioned it's like some sort of a safety or proceed, uh, standards or something. And taking into account the technical condition of the unit, Gazprom is halting the operation of another Siemens gas pumping unit at the Porta Vaya compressor station. See, these are gas, are turbine compressors. So not, not piston compressors, they're turbine compressors. Just like a jet engine has a turbine a compressor in it that compresses the gas. They have to periodically compress the gas as it comes along the pipeline. Uh, you got to keep it moving, you know. The gas flow is based on pressure difference. So if you're taking gas out at one end, you got to keep pushing it in at the other end or nothing happens. Uh, the energy firm statement said, it detailed that... Uh, Flow curbs would start at 1.30 Russian, uh, Moscow time, 22.30 GMT on June 16th, which is tomorrow. On Tuesday, the daily uh, gas pumping was curtailed to 100 million cubic meters, down from 167 million cubic meters. Gazprom said that it had to uh, lower the gas, uh, natural gas supplies via the Nord Stream pipeline because Siemens had not returned the gas pumping units from repair. Why? The German company said on Wednesday that the repair gas pumping units were for the Nord Stream pumping, uh, f units for the North Stream pipeline could not be returned from Mon the Montreal factory due to Canada's sanctions against Russia. So who's going to hurt? Russia? No, see, if Russia doesn't pump natural gas, where does it stay? In the ground. It's still Russian. It's it, So uh, as the price continues to go up, they'll make even more money in the future because every cubic meter they don't pump is a cubic meter they can sell in the future. There's a finite supply of gas. There's not an infinite supply. And the shorter uh, it gets in availability, the more it'll be worth. Especially since natural gas is probably the, mo the greenest, the, the, the least uh, carbon intensive of fossil fuels. It's mostly methane. Methane is mostly hydrogen. What is it? Uh, a carbon and two hydrogens or something like that. So it burns really clean. 
That's why you can have a gas stove. You don't have to have an elaborate vent and fume hood uh, because it's not going to kill you with CO2 or C, um, CO. CO uh, burns very clean. Uh, so the reason they can't keep pumping and they had to take things down, take a unit offline, is because Canada sanctions prevents it being sent back to Russia. Yes, their own sword shall enter their own heart. <laughs> Canada, the good NATO member, is busy helping to disembowel Europe and NATO. Wow. They're, they're doing it to themselves. They've done it to themselves. This has to be historically one of the stupidest moves ever in history. The idea that I'm, we're going to destroy our enemy by cutting ourselves off from all their resources. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's smart. That's smart. You know, that's like a stubborn child that refuses to eat just to get at their parents. Well, it might make the parents feel bad for a while, but it's, it's a child that's going to have the empty stomach. Except this is a different situation. What's happened is, all for the good of Russia, that the West has showed what a pack of liars and savage hyenas they are, including the United States. Russia now knows you cannot do business with the United States and NATO. You can't trust them. You cannot trust them to keep their words. So it has to be like cash on the barrel or rubles on the barrel, not dollars, because they'll just confiscate those, or gold on the barrel. There you go. Let's see how much gold really is in Fort Knox. Demand payment in gold. If they don't want to pay in rubles, you can pay in gold. I think the ruble is semi-pegged to the gold. I don't know. That might have been just temporary. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Gold is not as important as fuel and food, is it? No, you can't eat gold. And if there's, if there's, uh, you know, the time will come, perhaps, in an emergency, in a disaster, when people are starving, uh, uh, gold will be worthless. And in the Book of Revelation, we see the very th that very thing. People will cast their silver and gold into the caves, into the bats, to get rid of it, because it indicts them. It, it won't be worth anything. Because you can't eat it, and it can't keep you warm. And if you think that you, you've got a whole stash full of, say, silver dollars and quarters stashed away in your survival shelter, that you're going to be able to buy food or uh, other things you need to exist with that worthless metal, you're foolish. Nobody's going to trade food for, for silver. Because you can't eat silver, and you can't, it can't keep you warm. It's just nonsense. These people don't even think. Not to mention that under those circumstances, under martial law, if you're found hoarding stuff, well, it's just summary execution. Biden would just love to do that. Or Obama, or Hillary, or... So here, it's we're, we're seeing right now, this brilliant West, the judgment of God. This is the judgment of God because the West has become utterly wicked through and through, utterly corrupt. The governments are corrupt. The people are corrupt, and they're corrupting themselves, and they're trying to corrupt everyone in the world and using the power of government and money and everything else to corrupt the entire world, to conform the world to the wickedness they love. And Putin has delivered his people from the West. 
Maybe he'll be called the second Moses. <laughs> I don't want to go that far. But it, it's, it's interesting the sanctions have resulted in the liberation of Russia. They don't need the West. All our high-tech garbage, nobody needs. They need to get back and take care of themselves, first of all. And then they've got excess things like wheat. They are the world's largest, not Ukraine, Russia is the world's largest exporter of wheat. And I don't know if they got barley. I know they've got barley and everything else. And whereas the United States, what do we do here? We take, by force of law, it's mandated that we take corn, field corn, which is basically for animal feed, although you can grind it up and eat it. You know, like cornmeal is the same thing. It's not sweet corn. Uh, but it's a rather coarse grain to make bread. It's not. It doesn't. You can't make good bread out of corn. Uh -uh, it doesn't. You need the wheat. It's like barley. Uh, you need the the uh, the particular particular properties of wheat flour that, that creates nice bread. Uh, you can make bread out of other things, but anyway. So we take we grow corn. And then mandate that gasoline is diluted by 15% alcohol that's made from food. Idiots, idiots, idiots. Of course, Biden hasn't even thought about repealing that mandate. See, there's no re you don't have to force the prices of grain up right now. No, you don't. No, there's not an excess. It's not an excess. The fact that we would do that, the fact that you, you take food and convert it into, inefficiently convert it into alcohol for con mixing with gas, there is no logical reason for that. The only reason to do that is as a, a bone for the farmers to keep the price of corn higher. Well, when there's a shortage of food, you don't have to worry about that. There's not an excess of anything out there right now that's of importance. Food and fuel, that's what's important. And making alcohol out of corn is very inefficient and probably, if all things are considered, actually it's a negative energy balance. In other words, it takes more fuel and energy to produce alcohol than the energy content of the alcohol. Well, pretty soon they'll just start drinking the alcohol anyway to numb themselves as they watch the entire country fall into the abyss. Just tumbling down, tumbling down. Just like the buildings in Gaza when Israel bombs them. It's all falling in. And they're doing it to themselves. They're doing it. Right now, I'm not really thrilled about living in the United States. But God will take care of his people. He promises that. He will take care of his people, those who are righteous through faith in Christ. You better trust in God because there's nothing else you're going to be able to trust in. When your stomach is growling, you better trust in the Lord. Because it's coming. It's coming, baby. God's judgment I've been saying that for years. I was saying that COVID is the judgment of God. Uh, homosexuality is the judgment of God. But people don't get the message. And they keep doubling down on their sin and doubling down on their sin and doubling down. See, God just turns you over to your own vices, what you want. He lets you do it. He doesn't restrain you from the evil you want to do. Just like Chicago, you know, gun control. Chicago's got the strongest gun control laws in the country. But yet, every weekend, how many people? There's usually 25, 30 people shot in Chicago. Because criminals don't care about your gun laws. They don't. They don't care. And here, Biden on gun control, while he's shipping shiploads, billions of dollars worth of weapons into Ukraine to kill people and to get people killed. 
And I saw yesterday that Donetsk, the capital of uh, the Donetsk People's Republic, one of the breakaway regions from Ukraine, that, that didn't want to go with the the unlawful government that was installed by a, in a coup, an American-sponsored coup back in 2014. See, part of the country, the part that speaks Russian, that are largely ethnically Russian, didn't want to be part of that. They didn't want to follow the new Nazi government, because that's what it was, the, the Nazi elements, the, the banderistas got a hold of the demonstrations in Maiden Square and took it over. See, that's what often happens in coups, is in, in, in uh, so-called uh, flower revolutions. The, the criminal element seizes the moment and seizes control and uses intimidation and violence and murder to take over. That's what happened in Ukraine under the encouragement of the Americans including the Secretary Nolan, who was there, and John McCain, and uh, the, the American ambassador, and others, all the neocons, one of their projects. How many revolutions, how many coups has the United States brought about, or it was instrumental in? Who knows? They keep that secret from the American people. They don't tell us what they're doing. They do all kinds of things in darkness. And we're not allowed to know. Because of national security. No, it's cover for their evil deeds. That's what so much uh, uh, of the, the classification of documents is about. It's about keeping the American people from knowing what the people that have stolen the government are doing stolen it with money they've been bought you know with what it costs to run a campaign do you think these people are independent or are they bought by corporations or by the government itself how many of these people are owned and controlled by the CIA back in the 60s there were American Christian missionaries who were acting as agents of the CIA. Some of them probably volunteered to do it. Not as agents of Christ, but as agents of the CIA. Well, those people sort of forgot who they're supposed to be working for. There probably are the same thing going on today. Now, a lot of this was down in South America, Central America. Christian missionaries. Fundamental Baptists, things like that, were also volunteered probably to act as agents of the CIA. Lovely. Corruption. Wicked. That's terrible. But, you know, how many people in the Senate and the Congress are actually serving the people they're supposed to be representing? Or are they serving corporations, donors? But they're not serving you. And now the judgment of God continues to fall fast and furious. It'll just go worse and worse and worse. Right now, the West is disemboweling themselves. Wow. Their own so with their own sword. Their sanctions are bringing judgment on them. It's all blowback. Their own sanctions are cutting them off from natural gas, from oil, and from food. Well, it's going to be a long, cold winter in Europe, and maybe in America, too. Don't put your trust in the money you've got in the bank. It's nothing. Just like all the people put their savings in something safe like cryptocurrencies. Where is that? They are evaporating like the morning dew. Only 
God is worthy of trust. Only Jesus Christ can save your life, can save your soul, can deliver you from the judgment of God. 